first shot set up. How, how, did, how is it that you hold this? Should we have our first shot set up? No, we should, but... Because <laughs> it keeps me behind my feet. Okay, who was the Logan, yeah, go switch the lever so it gets on the, the other one, in the back. Actually, we can have that on channel yeah, 7. Yeah. Either way. Uh, guys, is this, why isn't this holding? Or like There's a piece of tape on the left. Oh. Yeah, it's... Can we angle that a little more, if that's possible? Well, I guess you guys... I don't know. Did you guys hear me, though? What? Can we angle that TV a little bit? You guys, I'm going to knock on the window. I want to make sure you guys can hear me, okay? Okay. What? Good God. Sure, but yeah, there was. Yeah. It's on now. There it goes. You just have to tap play. Okay. 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 Um, so sounds working. We're okay. We're ready. We're ready. Logan, what should we do with the girls? How do we want to bring them out? Two or three. All three. Bring three. Talk well. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you too. Well, hey, Logan. What? Tell Austin to cue it up after the intro. All right. I'll do. Austin. We're gone. show tonight um Hopefully. I, uh, we have audio i don't really know what's going on now uh we, we audio no audio okay. what's what's the deal uh <laughs> it's uh it's live tv folks so we're uh, good we're doing good oh okay, we're, it looks like we're okay i just received multiple yeah, thumbs up we're okay all right boy i tell you what you know when you don't have the big bucks of the network sponsors and uh and, and you're and you're scrambling to get a show on the air it's uh it's always a bit, it's a bit of a crapshoot. You never know what's going to happen. That's true. It uh, is. Uh, here in live TV. I agree. Uh, so we're we're a little late out of the gate, but uh, we're on, and uh, we got a big show for you. Uh, Shane and I have uh, we have a movie tonight. We shot a movie this weekend. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. We've we've got some new faces in it. I think you're going to like them. Yep. They're here tonight to plug the movie. Yep. They're going to talk about their work in the film, and uh, and so that's going to be big. We're going to bring them out in a little bit. Uh, we, we really feel it's 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 uh, the longest uh, movie we've shown here on the program. It's about 11 minutes. It's about 11 minutes long. It's it's going to be something a little different for the fans. Uh, some of the things that uh, were common threads in our in our previous efforts uh, won't won't be present tonight. True. Uh, so it's going to be something uh, you're not quite as used to. Oh, as always, our show. Sorry to interrupt you. Our show is a call-in show. Mm -hmm. Our number five four two MCAT. If we can get that up there. Um, uh, we'll be taking your calls all the way through, and uh, hopefully you're going to have some feedback here uh, uh, for the show. Now, uh, Shane, this is typically the portion of the show where we discuss um, the weekend's events. Uh -huh. And uh, I know that you and I both had our weekends ruined. Um, 
because, uh, and this is funny, because I, I think, if you'll recall, we, we actually have received some criticism about our show being too fluffy. Yeah, that's true. Um, our show does not deal with the hard issues. Mm -hmm. And yet our weekends uh, were, were mutually ruined by, uh, by some news coverage that we were, uh, that we were subject to that, uh, that, we that we didn't like so much. What was that about? Alien Gonzalez. Alien Gonzalez. The doe-eyed Cuban boy. Yeah, Alien Gonzalez. True. We have had it with Alien. He's on the news all the time. Yeah, we don't we don't want to see him on TV anymore. He he doesn't matter. Yeah, he's just a, he's just he's a, just one boy. You know you know what I think? What I, I send him back. Send him back. Send yeah. him back. I agree. Send him back. Yes, I agree. And so does ECW. If you watch it, you you could have seen the cool little ECW chant that they did for that. And but get him off the news. Yeah, because it's just stupid. Hey, uh, Tyler. Yeah, I think we have a call. Oh well, maybe, maybe about Alien Gonzalez. Well, let's see what we have here. We got a caller? Yeah, hi. Hello. It's David Prater here. And uh, I was told by my father that my sister Rachel is going to be on your show tonight. Well, you just ruined the big surprise, but yes, she is going to be on the show tonight. Yeah, my father asked me to give up watching Buffy, and he said he'd give it up. We always watch Buffy the Vampire Slayer on Tuesday at 9, uh, so I could tape this for him to see because he doesn't get cable. Uh, I wonder what it's going to be like uh, tonight. Well, it's going to be awesome. That's right. Way better than Buffy. Way better than Buffy. Yeah, we actually, we realized going into this that Buffy moved to Tuesday. And we knew we were going to have to compete up against it. We knew it was going to be tough. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. we've got some loyal viewers. We think we can compete. And our movie tonight, featuring Rachel, uh -huh. actually, uh -huh. she stars in it, among others, uh, is going to be awesome. So yep. you should definitely watch that. You won't be disappointed. Great. I can't wait to see my sister, and neither can my father or my stepmother, I bet. Excellent. Well, thank, okay. you, thank you for the call. Yeah, Welcome, thank you. Bye bye. All right. Okay, that was a nice guy. Yes. Uh, fortunately, he, he didn't have any, any comments about our friend Alien, but maybe down the road. Mm -hmm. um, and we uh, we've got a, a jam packed show. Yeah. Uh, for you tonight. True. And uh, and we, we want to get right into it, but I think first um, we got. Well, do you want to take another call or let's take one more? Okay. Let's see what see what. No, I think it's caller. Nope. Nope. We lost. Jordy. Hello. Hello. Yes. We got more. I agree with your uh, alien comments, guys. Oh well, thank you. I I, I used to be I used to uh, want to chant save alien, but <laughs> send them back now. Yeah. Okay. That's really all I had to say. Thanks. Well, thanks cool. for the support. Thanks for tuning in. Yeah. Okay, that was nice. Um, I guess uh, we we should move into a a, a portion. It's becoming kind of a weekly uh, feature mm -hmm. here on the broadcast. Um, as many of you who are our loyal fans know, uh, for the past several weeks. Uh, we've been engaged in a futile attempt to uh, to bring our good friend uh, Laura Valley on the show. Yeah, you know it started with uh, with her calling in mm -hmm. to our show, and we she had Nate Weber as a guest and teased us. Yes, she did. We tried desperately to get her to come on the show. That's After right. that, she wouldn't return our calls. No, for whatever reason. And so uh, we ended up, you know, instead, I wouldn't by any means say settling. We got Sam Riddle instead. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. He was an awesome guest. He did well. He said that he would try and get. In Touch with Laura. Right, but the drive to bring Laura on the show continues. Uh huh. And so here tonight, we're going to move into what's uh, what's becoming kind of a weekly portion of our show. Uh, That's right. Where we uh, where we make the plea um, for for Laura to come on the broadcast. Uh, yeah. We've got our uh, our lady Grizz hats on, as you can see. And uh, and Laura, I, I just want to say if I can if I can just sort of bypass the folks at home for a moment and address you directly. Um, I think I speak for everybody here down at the station when I say that every show that we don't get to see you here on the couch or is, hear from you. Yeah, the, the product is really suffering. It's, mm -hmm. it's just not, you know, I don't know, I just don't feel as good about it. You know, we've got a little something. Yeah. Another little yeah, something. Yeah, we besides wanna, our We want to send hats. a message. Why don't you put that up? Because this is kind of the way we feel right here. We love our Lady Grizz. We love our Lady Grizz. Folks, that's what we do down here at MCAT. That's right. Is we love our Lady Grizz. And and that's what it's all about, and that's why yeah. we want to have Laura on the show. So mm -hmm. if you're out there, Laura, any of Laura's friends, let her know. Please, yeah. come see us. Well, uh, Tyler, we've got okay. a call. We, we should we take this before we get to our uh, let's do it. Ooh. movie. That's our hey, call. Hello? Hey, what's happening? What's up? Not much. What are you guys doing tonight on TV? Well, we, uh, we have a regular show on Tuesday nights, the Shane and Tyler show that you're watching right now. Yep. And we're taking some calls, and uh, down the road we're going to have a movie for you. All right, I'm about what time? Um, I don't know. We're probably going to get to that in about 15, 20 minutes, I would think. Quicker. Maybe even before that? Even sooner. 
Um, I thought that the movie was fabulous. It was a great cast to work with. Um, I developed a really nice bond with my coworkers. The producers were great. Mm -hmm. um, it was lots of fun. It was lots of fun. Good food was served. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well catered. Yeah. 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 Well catered. Well, we lots of fun. Yeah, we don't spare anything when we're shooting on movies. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the best it can be for everyone involved. Uh, yeah. Lauren, what do you think? Um, I don't know. I had fun. I just felt bad about <laughs> all the cuts we had to take. <laughs> but, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it was fun. I kind of laughed a lot. So it was good. Uh-huh. Um, I don't think I've ever laughed as hard in my life, <laughs> pretty much. Um, but, you know, it was... It was a moving, a moving piece, and there were, you know, some times when it was really scary. Yeah, that's um, true. <laughs> there were some will times see. when it was sad. Yeah. Sad. <laughs> I, cr I laughed. I cried. <laughs> I was a little shook. The exactly. love story, like the civil strife that goes on, it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's beautiful. The character Oscar development mm -hmm. in itself, <laughs> of in particular, the character of Ricky. <laughs> yeah. Who was played by our own Logan Modine, <laughs> where his character starts, Good. you know. Mm -hmm. Masterfully portrayed. <laughs> oh man, by, that was by our own Logan Modine, as you're going to see. Or you know William Shatner. And yeah, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's who you think it is. I believe he, he took a page out of uh, out of William Shatner's book for his performance. But uh, uh, Lauren, you uh, you did some scenes with uh, with Logan as Ricky that were um they were a little uh, maybe a little steamier than we tend to have here on the show. <laughs> that's true. Um, why don't you tell us about what that was like uh, in on, the making the of? Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know. Um, it was really hard to contain myself at some <laughs> But, um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> moving on, Logan is, you know, he's, he's a, a tough actor to work with because he is so sincere with his acting that, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's hard it's to true. keep going with it because, you know, he you don't see him. within the soul. Exactly. You don't see him as Logan anymore. No. You no. see him as the character, and in this case, Ricky. <laughs> nobody nobody gets into the character that I've worked with better than Logan. Well, besides, the possibly, the possibly he Ryan died. Abraham. I yeah. felt Newton's pain. Tonight. The isolation, the mm -hmm. being alone, not having any true friends. As usual, as yeah. usual, we did our best to tell a really human story here. Mm -hmm. um, That's with, true. With a lot of layers. And, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to just sit at home, you know, and, and just stare at the TV and get this one. Okay? It's, you're going to have to think about <laughs> it. You might want to, in fact, you know what? I'm going to tell you right now. Get a tape in the VCR so you can watch this a couple of times yeah, that's true. and get the message. That's very true. Otherwise, you're not going to get to see this again until we show our clip show. That's right. And the responsible so. viewer uh, is, is going to want to check this out. Uh, I think we're we're gonna take one call. Maybe looks like we got on uh, on line one here. We got Shane. Shane, is that you? No. Line two. No. Line two is there. Um, okay, actually, um, I'm gonna go ahead, Tyler, and step out for a second. Okay. To let another member of uh, <laughs> of our movie oh, come another? out here. Oh, another and, cast member. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's a little late, like usual. To uh, have her here, so I'm gonna go ahead <laughs> and step out for a second and she can step in and I'll let you guys <laughs> okay catch up a little before we play this clip. Excellent. Keely, yeah. Hey, what's up? Uh, nice to meet you make it. <laughs> Th thanks for being here, Keely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on time? Yeah. On time. Thanks for being here on time. I'm glad I cut my work out short to be on here. So. Oh, that's excellent. That's the kind of that's the kind of thing we like to see people doing for the yeah. for the good of the show. Now, as you folks can tell, this is um, at least four more females than we have ever had on our program uh, at once. And uh, and they all appear in the film, and uh, and and I think, for, from from the from the perspective of someone who's who's been working on some of the things we've been doing, that it really helped out. Did you guys feel like like uh, you were kind of, you know, newcomers on the set with all that testosterone and male filmmaking going on? <laughs> kind of, yeah. At first, but you guys were really nice. You treated us with respect, <laughs> chivalrous almost. Really? Yeah. Well, we've got a couple people in our production crew that really know females. <laughs> and have and have some really well developed feminine sides themselves, um, and I think that that really helped out in uh, in working through some of the characters that we were that we were trying to get through. Mm -hmm. uh, it, does it, did you guys have a have a favorite? Uh, and I don't want to give too much away, but uh, but a favorite scene that you did. Mm -hmm. I thought the dance scene. Oh, the girls just want to have fun scene. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's a little high. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> that wasn't a scene. That was what really happens at our slumber yeah, jams. Yeah, when we get together and have slumber parties, we slumber jams. always have little <laughs> girls. The girls just want to have fun. That's yeah. But you're almost giving a little too much away. Yeah. Like, and, um, you know, so yes. Minute Maid, that was memorable. <laughs> it was deep. Minute Maid. <laughs> <laughs>
This will all make much more sense after you've seen <laughs> the film. Yeah, I promise you. But uh, but this this is what you get today. Here is our effort to make amends for what has been about five weeks of uh, of girl free programming, <laughs> um, and we've taken some heat for that in the local media. Uh, <laughs> and so uh, so we're yeah we're uh, we're gonna try to. Uh, to, to, to change that right now. Um, we're going to go to line one here and take a call for the girls. Ryan? Yeah. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm curious about that girl, Kim. Is there any way I could get her number? Like, maybe if you gave it, well, you probably don't want to give it out over the air, huh? No. Yeah, uh, probably not. No, not, um, not over the air. Well, could I give her my number or maybe she could call me or something? She's, she's, how old is she? She's pretty cute. Kim? Um, 45. It's a possibility, Ryan. I think okay. maybe I can, yeah, arrange that. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> Why don't you hang on the line? Oh, also, I wanted to ask about that Cornhuskers hat. Yeah. You're going to Austin, and you're wearing that hat? You got that straight, Jack. Hmm. How's <laughs> <laughs> going to feel about that down there? I don't really care. As soon as they get three national championship rings in the 1990s, they can start talking to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm mostly concerned about that girl's number. That's That's... Most of why I called. Okay. Oh, yep. and oh, never. Do you want to talk to him about that? Yeah. All right. Oh, one more caller for you here. Okay. Hey, I was hoping to talk some Laura Valley with you guys. Okay. <laughs> um, what a, what's you guys' stance on the um, alleged altercation? On which alleged altercation? The um, the one that was in the newspapers and stuff. What do you mean by stance? Like. I don't know. What like do you think? Whether or not it happened, or no? You think you think she was in the wrong, or? Well, I don't. I don't have all the facts. You know. Uh. You know. You can never really know when a story's been uh, reflected through the uh, through the biased prism that is the Missoula <laughs> print media. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. So, uh, so what, what, basically, what we're going to do is uh, hold judgment there until we let Laura on the show. Yeah, I got a funny story about that though. Um, some friends of mine were uh, having a party a couple years ago, and I guess she stole a bunch of CDs from the party. Okay, you know. I'm not going to allow these accusations to fly on our show. I mean, if you want to, you know, drag somebody through the mud, go ahead and call up Ken on Star FM and see if she'll listen, okay? <laughs> All right, we're going go to we're gonna go to our movie, ladies. What do you think? You want to watch the movie? Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, if we've got it ready back there, let's go ahead and let that baby run. Folks, uh, okay, here we go.
three, four, six. Hey, what's that last number, guys? Hello? Can I order a pizza? Extra pepperoni. Uh, sure, kid. Just tell me your address. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. You don't want me to murder your order, do you? Uh-huh. All right. You'll get your pizza. Extra pepperoni, indeed. Super! Well, guys, pizza's on its way. Now for the girlies. Yeah. <laughs> 
What was that? I don't know. Let's go check it out. No, don't go, Christy. It might be dangerous. You should stay with me. Oh, whack, man. So totally whack. Oh, my God. Time out. I come upstairs right after Newton mashed down with Tony's best girl, and now they're both dead on the ground, and he's got a knife? No way, man. Not in my house. Time in. Tony, what did you do? Nothing. I, I came up here, and they were just like this, man. Whatever, man. You killed them. You murdered them in my house. No, man. I swear. No, man. God, you're so whack. I'm going to have to take this. I'm out of here. You know, Christy, now that we're alone, I want to tell you that I'm really glad the bottle landed on you. So am I. Actually, I've liked you ever since sixth grade kickball team. When you kicked that home run, just about died. I brought something with me tonight. Do you know what this is? Your makeout hat. Oh, it is. Oh. How would you like to see it on my head? Let's go to the bed. I'm going to go to the bathroom and freshen up. Sounds good. This certainly is my lucky day. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't believe it. I've been waiting for this my whole life. Me, too. Ricky. It's Christy and Ricky. Are they? Scratch two lovebirds off the alive list. There really is a killer. You have to believe me. He's in here. He's already killed someone. No way, man. I've listened to enough of your lies for one night. Oh. Now you're done, sucker. Looks like this nightmare is over, girls. That's where you're wrong, hero. That's Ricky's makeup cap, but that's not Ricky. That means Tony's not the killer. I'll mop up this situation right now. Clean up on aisle seven, biatch. Zach, you saved the day. You're a hero. Time out. Sure, I had to kill my best friend, Tony, but I also killed the killer. And even though a lot of the kids in my class are dead now, I'm alive. I got two girls in my house and a big pizza all to myself. I say it's a pretty good night. Time in. What's this? Tony's not so dead after all, is he? First of all, we do have a caller, so uh, I think we'll go ahead and see what kind of reaction they had from the movie. Oh, caller, you there? Um, I think the movie was awesome. How the killer of getting in the house and yeah. it was pretty, it was pretty cool. And I just want to say your show rocks. Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> we're glad you liked the show. Oh, thanks. Um, I guess. Uh, oh. Still there? No, I'm done. Okay. Do you have any comments for uh, anyone in particular that we have out here right now? No. Uh, no. Okay. Well, um, I think we're gonna go ahead and go to our next caller. Thanks for calling. Glad you liked it. Caller, are you there? Yeah, it's Hey. Uh, I uh, watched the movie. It was quite thrilling. You all uh, did a great job in it. Seeing my sister Rachel, you're sitting there saying that dark blue shirt, uh, you didn't really do much in the film, you know, it's easy. I'm, I'm sort of an extra, D. You're just an extra? Yeah. But, but it was a good film, though. So, are you guys planning on uh, making a sequel or another movie? Well, if if the fans want to see it. Uh, okay, because I'd like to star in it if uh, I could. <laughs> well, our hero did survive, if you don't remember, but there could be, you know, 
there's definitely room for someone else. Maybe yeah. another pizza man. Yeah, I, I can bring over my karaoke system stuff like this. You guys get some karaoke all night. Works for me. Yeah. Okay, well. Thanks, Dave. You're welcome, Rich. All right, see ya. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, Dave. Bye-bye. Okay. Caller, are you there? Hello? Hello. Hey, this is Dave. Dave. Hi. Hey, Dave. Great movie. I just <laughs> want to say that. Filming Ingenious once again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> great acting by my sister. <laughs> of course. Um, I also just wanted to say that. Uh, who's your cameraman this show? <laughs> Man, he's doing a great job. Well, we have two of them, actually. And uh, if we can get to a long shot. Yeah. Um, guys, why don't you come out here real quick? No? <laughs> One of them's a bit bashful. Well, well, Corey Chamberlain. Oh, uh, that was nice. Oh, man. Yeah, he's pretty good. Corey, thanks. You're doing a wonderful job tonight. Yeah. And uh, Bob's a little bashful tonight. He doesn't want to come out. Thanks, thanks Dave. I bashful appreciate Bob. it. Bob. Feels good. <laughs> well, that's about all I got. But Dave, what was your favorite part of the movie? I'd have to say the uh, sensual moment between um, <laughs> Vicky and Christy. Oh, that was just great directing there. I oh. think that was everyone's favorite moment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I thought it was the acting. And, and Dave, what would you think about a sequel? I think a sequel is definitely in the making. As long as it's not uh, Extra Pepperoni 2, you know? You just got to have a creative title to it. <laughs> it's indeed. indeed extra indeed. Pepperoni, yeah, they indeed, indeed, Dave. Creative outlet. Crucial. <laughs> so, Dave, would you be interested in starring in our next movie? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely down for that. Okay, well, uh, I think we have the number. <laughs> so, <laughs> we hey, can. Nice show as usual, though, guys. Thanks. Good right. call, Dave. Bye. Bye. Good call. Yeah, yeah. he's a nice guy. Yeah, sometimes. Caller, are you there? Yeah, what's going on? Hey, Ryan. Ryan, hey, how's it going? Oh, it's hey. not too bad. Uh, <laughs> first of all, Logan promised me that uh, he'd give me, like, a tape or a CD of the intro song because that's just creative artwork. It's amazing. Well, you know, we we don't quite have our CD out yet. We, we have only released our first single. It's not due out till uh, late summer, I would imagine. So well, just stick me on the top of the list, huh? Yeah, no problem. The movie was great. I mean, it was, it was very nice. Well, thanks. The make-out hat? Who came up with that? <laughs> yeah. it, it was a, you know, a collaboration like all the ideas in our movies. It was excellent. Oh, uh, may I remind you to... Uh, vote Clegg as a uh, student body president <laughs> for the young girls on the couch there? Don't worry. I held King outside. <laughs> Lauren is one fine piece of ace. <laughs> My God. You know, Ryan, you're setting a bad example for the callers that follow. I'm sorry. Shane, you're a lovely person. Excellent show. I'll talk to you boys later. Uh, Thanks for the call, Ryan. I'll let you guys feel this one. Hello? Hi. 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 Um, I just want to say how much I really enjoyed the killer in the movie. Oh, really? Mike? Yeah, Mike was awesome. Yeah, Mike was awesome in that. I agree. Yeah, Mike was impressive. Was. It was quality what, acting. What was your favorite part about the killer? Um, I really enjoyed the nice to meet you part. <laughs> <laughs> you know, did you happen to catch um, our last program, or two programs ago? Um, no, I didn't. Well, oh, that's too bad. That, that line was, uh, it's a famous line throughout our movies, and... We used it then. I was hoping that uh, you got a chance to see that and uh, see the magic, <laughs> the magic <laughs> in the happen again. again. But actually, um, we could bring out Mike for a second. Yeah. That'd I be think, great. I think Mike wants to come out. Mike is dying to come out. <laughs> yeah, you should bring Mike out. Yeah, he's coming. All right. Hey. Hey. Hey, Mike. Killer Mike. <laughs> Mike, I don't know if you're, yeah, you're in the show. Mike. Hey, Mike, what's up? Hey, Bridget. It's Arlie, too. Hi, Arlie. Hey, Ryan. Hi, you too. <laughs> <laughs> we really like the movie. I'm glad. You rock my world, Mike. Oh, hey. Wow. wow. You know, after so long of being <laughs> Audio Boy and not getting any recognition, you get recognition. Oh, Just Audio Boy, Mike, come on. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, it's, it's just hard. <laughs> so, are you going to be in any more movies? Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, this is <laughs> my second on the show, but uh -huh. we've got a long, long history of movie making with Logan Austin and now Shane and Tyler, so definitely going to be more movies. I'm not, I'm getting really tired of playing people who kill people. <laughs> um, I think I'm getting typecast as a killer. <laughs> <laughs> so much, 
I, I, I've either eaten people. I've eaten a person on, on this show, and I, I obviously killed a lot of people on the, on the last movie. So I, want, I really want to kind of branch out into people who affirm life rather than, <laughs> than take it a lot. So, you know, I think I can yeah. do more movies, but... Well, you know, we did, we did the Bajas and the Schlongs. Right. And y you didn't kill anyone in that movie. <laughs> I, I beat a lot You of kicked yeah. some butt. Yeah. Which was I? Was I you, were the Mex you were the Mexi Mike. I was Mexi Mike, right. Was that a Baja or a Schlong? Uh, you were a Schlong boy. <laughs> okay. I think. I don't remember. <laughs> it's not important. Okay. But, Mike, thanks for coming on. Thanks, Jane. Audio go, boy, Mike. I'm going to go back and, because no, no one has been able to hear me mm -hmm. without, you know, my audio boy. That's true. So, so they, they see you talking at least. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Mike. Classmates slash callers. And yeah, I'll good job, you. Mike. Thanks. Right. Bridget Bye -bye. and company, thanks for the call. Mm -hmm. We're going to go ahead and go to our next call. Uh, I think it's a familiar caller to the show. Caller. Yeah, how you doing? Shane, how are you? Great movie. Oh, thank I you. I think those chicks from Hellgate are fabulous, all of them. <laughs> they're, they're marvelous, I agree. Is there one from, is there one, that one isn't from Hellgate though, right? Well, they're all from Hellgate? Is this Mr. Chamberlain? I think you better cut oh, to the Mr. long shot so you can have a better <laughs> look here, Mr. Chamberlain. I thought, I thought, oh, look at that, big hunk of old Gordo. Oh, there we <laughs> Yeah. I, I asked for this. I, I, I thought the movie was uh, spectacular. I, I Scorsese, uh, Torrentino, <laughs> I, all these guys come to mind. Um, well, really fabulous. I, I called to see if, Ab if Abraham was there. No, Ryan is not here tonight. Well, I got, you know, let me tell you what happened. A little while ago, three boys came to my house. I was eating dinner, and they, they, I wrote them a note to go to Hellgate tonight and put up posters for the election tomorrow. Uh -huh. And they want to do a write-in. Yeah. yeah. Are you familiar with this? Because uh, Austin was right in the middle of it. Uh, Mr. Clegg? Mr. Clegg, perhaps? Posters. Mr. Chamberlain, I helped so put up he did. Do you, uh, Here's the question I have. We, so I, I, I wrote them the note, and they went up there, and they put these posters up. The election is tomorrow. They're not on the ballot because they didn't get the 150 signatures. Uh -huh. But can they still run as write-in candidates without me getting fired? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Well, I know I'm going to be fired for some other reasons, but <laughs> what do you think about that? I, I don't know. I tried to find a copy of the Constitution there at Hellgate, and I don't know what's going on. You think I'm going to get in trouble, or can that big lunk actually run? <laughs> I think the big lunk can run because you're so loved by the entire student body. Yeah, but that's not, see, I'm loved by the, what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, the majority of the student body, yes. Uh, uh, what I want to know is, though, can, can he run as a write-in candidate I like that? I think so, as long but as, like... It would defy, I think, the, the notion of in the free society that you could vote for whomever you wish, but I wonder if there's something in the Constitution of that school that's going to ruin me. Did he not get the 156? No, he didn't bother. He went to the election, <laughs> you know, tomorrow. Doesn't... He went and made up a bunch of posters tonight, and he pastes them up, you know, with, with janitors wondering what they're doing there tonight. Which is awesome. Yeah, I think it's yeah, pretty cool. I think it's retrograde. I think it's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> that gave him permission. Yeah. Oh man, that was a bad move then. Okay, yeah, let's go back to the movie. Uh, do we have uh, aspiring filmmakers among you? I mean, truly, do we or not? Well, you know, um, Austin's behind the camera, and mm. that's where all the magic starts. I mean, let's never have Austin. You should get him out there sometime. Their viewership would go up. You know, just Austin? let him talk. Just turn him loose. <laughs> We had Austin on last week, and actually, yeah, we got some really good responses. I understand that the <laughs> following among the high school and adolescent girls is growing for your program. I heard that, actually, the other night. Well, actually, ever since Austin was on our show, we, uh, we just got our ratings in. Yeah. And so <laughs> how do you get the ratings, uh, uh, Shane? That's got to be an interesting process. Well, I'm not exactly sure how it and works. you guys based out on how many, you know, like, waves you get when you're driving down the street and stuff like that? Or <laughs> Basically. And then down the mall and, and people are screaming at you? Yeah. Yeah, we get a lot of that. Mm. It's increasing, so, you know, our, v our fan base is increasing steadily. Those, let me tell you, those girls from Hellgate are great. Thank I you agree. Me. They are. They're great kids. And, uh, Shane, um, I, how's your Spanish? Well, <laughs> Shane was in my office one time. As a dean of students, he was in my office one time because he tormented one of the Spanish teachers there at Hellgate. Yes, yeah, Senora Fleitner, yes. if I do recall. Yes, and she's such a great teacher, too. With I your son. Her this year, you know, you, you just, you and my son were both in, in my office. Yeah. Shameful moment for me. I know, she lost it. Sh no, you lost it, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Some have right. said. I'm getting off. Okay, you thanks for the call, Mr. Chamberlain. Bye. Bye. As always, uh, caller. Hey, hello. Nathan. Yep. How's it going? Hey, Nate. Good. Is this Nate Stanford? Yep. Hi. Hi. What'd you think? That movie was whack. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll take.
take that as a compliment. Oh, yeah. What you guys? <laughs> Actually, what I am. Well, I didn't get back. it. I did. Uh, I didn't you, not you understand. Support? I did not understand the movie. Caleb, what didn't you understand? Well, I didn't know. Call me stupid, but what was going on? It's pretty complex. It is pretty hard to understand. Was it supposed to be funny or romantic? It was funny and or romantic. What? You know, a little bit of everything. I'd say. I agree. Well. From the, the inside, yeah. The show. I had a no problem mind. with the music. Sorry. <laughs> and think. Yeah. Big fan? Big time. Really? <laughs> big time? The biggest. You're the biggest NSYNC fan? Well, probably not, actually, but... Do you like Backstreet Boys better? Uh, no, I think NSYNC's probably cooler. No. Really? They're cooler? Yeah, but What's Lauren cool? over here thinks the Backstreet Boys... Do you like better about NSYNC than the Backstreet Boys? Well, Just um, curious. They were in our movie. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, did you get their permission? <laughs> yeah, we did, actually. Uh, we called uh, up, I don't I think you're lying. We called up Jive Record Company. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Sorry, I don't believe you. And we got it, so... We've got uh, connections. Actually, we've got, connections. we've got Andrew on the phone on line one, so let's... Uh, Hold on. Can you explain the movie? The rest oh, of the... Okay. Throughout the show. I, I think as an explanation... Caleb, we can explain to you. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's really that complicated. We, we replay tomorrow at 3 o'clock. So if you want to see the four wonderful, <laughs> wonderful girls again, you can watch them. And, uh, and we'll hang up the phone. And so <laughs> 3 o'clock tomorrow, it's going to be on. So just go ahead and tune in. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess we'll go to Andrew real quick. Andrew, you there? Yes, I'm here, Shane. How's it going? Not bad. How are you doing? Good. Well, um, I told I was told to uh, call up tonight by Austin Modine. I think you know him. Yeah, I, a little bit. Um, Lauren, how you doing? Good. Keely, hey. how you doing? Good. Uh, Kim, how you doing? Thanks. I'm afraid I, I don't know Rachel personally, but how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, as you may have heard, as of tonight, I guess I'm running for student body president. Uh huh. Good luck. Ryan Callahan had this crazy idea, so he decided to do it. We've, uh, we're in the fifth hour of our campaign now. Excellent. Uh, yeah, we went to Chamberlain for help, and we thank him for it. Okay. He brought his poodle by to help support us at the school. <laughs> um, I just, I want to say that, uh, hey, I'm all for democracy, you know. I figure this is a great forum. I won't be at, at school tomorrow. There's a track meet. But, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say, really. It's up to the people. Well, Andrew, thanks for calling, and, uh, What'd you think of the movie, real quick? Yeah. Oh, oh, the movie was great. I was wondering if I could get that uh, Lauren Cromwell's number. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you call back after the show, maybe uh, Lauren will get on the phone and talk. <laughs> so, Kwong, All we're, right. Kwong, we're going to go ahead and take our next call. All right. Thanks See for calling. Good Thanks. luck. Bye. Liz? Hi. Hey. Um, yeah, we thought the location of the, the movie was great. Um, that's a great house. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, we, we don't think Austin's getting enough, you know, thanks and recognition and everything. We, we just really think he deserves yeah, a lot Corey. more. He's putting well, a lot of attention. Same, the same with Corey, you know. Yeah, those red cheeks really turn me on. Anyway, um, <laughs> and about uh, Clegg for president, I think that's great, and I hope Mr. Chamberlain doesn't get in trouble because Andrew's a good kid. Um, so, great show, you guys. Great movie, girls. Nice stuff. Thank nice. you. Thank you for the call. Okay, another good caller, another fan of the movie. Mm. I think. Uh, good response. Got positive feedback. Yeah. yeah. Good response. So I guess the big question that everybody wants to know is, are you girls going to come back for another movie? Well, do you want us back? Hey, we're inviting right now. Even this is the open Rachel invitation. Back. Yeah, what about the Well, yes. you know, there's the sequel for Rachel and Keeley that can be involved <laughs> in, you know, as themselves. Right. We can, you know. But... You know, we always have wigs. wigs. We <laughs> have uh, we have fake mustaches. <laughs> those are those are pretty common in our movies. Um, you know, stuff like that that anybody can come back in our <laughs> movies. <laughs> That's not a problem. So it will be like days, like everybody comes back on that show. Exactly. We can have yeah, some reason no why died. they actually didn't die. So you know. I think um, I speak for us all when I say we accept. Well, yeah. cool. Yeah. You know, we I look heard. forward to having you back. Yeah. I guess that was wonderful. Fun experience, yeah. I thought. Thank you. Good times, good times. Good times. Thank you guys. And uh, I guess um, we're supposed to kind of wrap this up. we got to get Tyler back out here and uh, probably bring Logan with him. Girls, thanks for coming Thank on the show. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Thanks.
See you guys later. Okay, well, I guess it's just me out here. Um, uh, I'll just run the show from here on out until Logan comes out. There we go. And here's Kid Gilly. Ooh. Tyler. So, uh, yeah. I'm not putting that mic back kay. on. Okay. I'll well, just speak up. Just speak up. I hate that thing. Guys, actually, um, I just looked at the clock. Mm -hmm. uh, we had the girls out here for a pretty, pretty long time. Yep, I think they said it all about the movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not a whole lot more to add. We had lots of fun with them. They were great. Yep. Mm -hmm. Excellent. They, they really brought an extra something special to the film. I agree. I think. And, and, and <laughs> our, little, our little set here as well. Yeah, I agree. It, you know, nice change of pace. It wasn't the, the same old three. Normally when we Slack like girls, we have to dress up ourselves and it gets kind of awkward in those romantic scenes, you know? Yeah. That's so it was true. Nice. <laughs> I mean, I like, I like kissing you guys and all, but <laughs> well, it was okay. nice to have the... No, I, no, I'm just going to say it. <laughs> it. It is nice, but it's also nice to have the change. I yes, I yeah. agree. Yeah. Um, I, it looks like we have a caller. Let's take a call. Hello? Hi. Um, I just had a quick comment about the movie. I thought it was brilliant. Two very enthusiastic thumbs up. Right. The cast, excellent, excellent choice. Couldn't have done better. Thank you. Script, ingenious. <laughs> oh, wow. The cameraman, wow, fantastic again. Uh -huh. And I'm honored to say, I mean, just think the magic happened right next door to me. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. That is uh -huh. great. I know, and it's, it's just amazing how it all comes together. The tour like buses that. are going to be rolling by in no time. Yeah, that neighborhood's <laughs> pretty much gone now. I, yeah, I'm going to have to move out. I'm afraid so. I mean, wow. Call the realtors. <laughs> Dang. Oh, um, man. that's it. Well, okay. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the call. Definitely, thank you. <laughs> Anytime. Bye. Whoops. Uh, hello? Hello. Go ahead. I liked the movie. I loved it. Good. And uh, I have one question about uh, the two Bowser's Castle comments. Uh, yeah. <laughs> were we actually at Bowser's Castle? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. What right. world were you in? Eight, well, world eight. Eight four. Yep. Eight four. So I guess you've played it, Mario Brothers. That is. So you know how excited. Oh, yeah, well, that, Interrupting kissing, interrupting uh, pizza ordering. Well, how did you feel about that? Didn't that kind of? Well, yeah, cramped yeah. style. You better uh, believe it. Yeah, you were about to get some, and then. Yeah. <laughs> Bowser's okay. ca Come on. No I'm kidding. Twice. Well, the first time <laughs> I was about to get it, but. Yeah, the second time it was a big bummer. Oh, I bet. Well, that's all I had to say. Uh, okay. All right. Thanks for the call. Hey, later, Mitch. Glad you enjoyed the movie. Okay. Caller. Just a train there, guys. Oh, oh, <laughs> good. Hey, just some general comments. Uh, okay. Nice to hear Mr. Chamberlain call. Uh -huh. I could listen to him forever, and for a moment I thought he might have to. <laughs> we all did. Shane, looks like you're still not lifting. No, you're, that's where you're wrong. Uh, oh, you are? Mm-hmm. Oh, just, okay, okay, I, maybe it's the, it's the lens and the camera. No, no yeah, you that's weren't true. Closed. You can't yeah, even, this is, this is baggy. You can't tell under this. Uh-huh. You know. Oh, I, yeah, that's true. Now, Tyler's going to Texas, I hear. Yeah. Uh, there's uh, kind of a quick little entrance exam. I have it in my hand. Tyler, I'll just give you a couple of quick questions here. Certainly. In what kind of a tree would you find a Texas math teacher? Uh, I, uh, a binary tree? A binary tree? That'd be a geometry. Oh, geometry. Oh. <laughs> sure. Okay, I've got uh, question two. In Texas, what looks exactly like half a tomato? Half a tomato? Yeah, that's right. Half a tomato looks like half a tomato. Very good. Okay. In Texas, if you name a bus that can cross an ocean, what would you call that bus? <laughs> a boat? Uh, that would be Columbus. <laughs> okay, thank you. And then, uh, then this is the last question on the Texas law exam. Are you ready for this? Yeah. On which side of a bear would you usually find the thickest fur? I believe that's the outside of the bear. Outside of the bear almost always oh. has the thickest fur. Yes, that's true. Okay. And uh, I'll tell you, Mr. Modine looking real fine. As always. Yes, excellent. A fine, uh, fine show, fellas. Keep up the good work. Well, well thank, thank you. you. And remember. <laughs>
That's okay. We'll take our next call. God, I love those sound effects. What's up, guys? Terry, how's it going? It's going good. Hey, uh, great movie. Thank you. A couple of questions for you. Sure. Uh-huh. How'd that poor Keeley get, uh, get together with Newton, man? <laughs> I mean, come on. Newton wishes. That's the luck of the draw. <laughs> you, you gotta give her a better shot on the sequel. Well, she lived. <laughs> yeah. Holy mackerel. And, uh, so, Logan, uh, yeah. What about the age of some of these girls you're hanging out with there? <laughs> what about that blonde? Love, love knows no age. I mean, that's what it is. <laughs> you don't care about those things when you're yeah. situated with someone. Oh, rumor, man. You know that. Once that makeout cap you. goes on. <laughs> oh, yeah, when well, that makeout cap went on, I was about to hit it down to MCAT there. <laughs> <laughs> you and everybody else, I'm telling you. <laughs> Great job, you guys. Really fun. Really entertaining. Uh, go get another one. Thanks, Terry. All right. Talk to you guys. Bye. See ya. <laughs> yeah, the director's cuts of those scenes. Ooh. The makeup. Mm. Uh, Terry, stop there. <laughs> Please. You do not want to know what your daughter does when the cameras are not. Oh, working. man. It Just kidding. Of, co- of course, yeah. folks. <laughs> right. Okay, well. Actually, we're getting some really good feedback uh, yeah. from the movie. I think, you know. It's a hit. I smell sequel. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> we're prequel. <laughs> <Or> prequel. <laughs> we're really happy to have that. Uh, that kind of looks like we got a call coming in here. Okay. Oh no! It looks like Jordy's oh. Jordy's lost all the calls for us again. Okay. Well, guys, it's two minutes. Mm-hmm. We got about. Oh, two just minutes. two minutes left. Uh, anything we need to get here while we're wrapping up? I want to. Uh, I want to say something really quick. I don't okay. know if it's your on your guys's conscience, but kitties. Last Saturday, out in the rain. Oh man. We're really mm. <laughs> we're really sorry we didn't show mm. up. Mm. We know we announced. On public TV, that um, <laughs> on uh, yeah, uh, who knows? Who knows how far this broadcasts? God only knows how many children's lives were destroyed in Easter ruined coming yep. out to the rain to meet you know the Shane and Tyler cast, and no one was there. We really apologize. Nature. But this Saturday, it was nature. <laughs> <laughs> it was yeah, so it did, it did rain. It was the driving pouring rain. You got to give us one more chance. Next time we say we're going to be somewhere, we'll we try and be there, well. regardless of weather impediments. <laughs> True. So, yeah, that Logan, good point. Thanks for bringing that up. Uh, uh, anything? Oh, we all like uh, like usual. We want to say hi to our uh, our good friend uh, Lorna out at Mongo's. Lorna, how's it going? And the whole team out there uh, for doing the great work they do, taking uh-huh. care of us at lunch today as we plan our little broadcast here. Yeah. And uh, do you think we have time to take one more? Uh, we can make it quick. Okay. Caller. Hello. No. Okay. Okay. Well, guys. What do you think? That's the way she goes. I am very happy. I'm very happy with the show. Very happy with the movie. And yeah, our uh, I'm newfound stars. The feedback was excellent tonight. Mm-hmm. Thanks Absolutely. for thanks for watching. Yep. Definitely. Yep. We'll be back again next week. Same time, same place. Same time, same place. You can catch the replay of this tomorrow if you missed the movie, if you're just tuning in. Tomorrow, 3 o'clock on MCAT, 3 p.m. Tell your friends, word of mouth is what makes this show run. Because, yes. yo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're, oh. We're, we got overtime here. Sure. No, that's what's that's what's on. Mm-hmm. There it goes. We're not on. Okay. If we're on, we love you. That bitch got us. Dude, no one came into the booth though. Hello. Hello. Our show is off now. You guys are so hard to get in touch with. Oh, I know. What's we going have on? lots of callers, so. The movie was really good though. I was gonna give you nice positive feedback. Well, you still can. Can you go out back on the air? <laughs> yeah, I think I don't know if we're in the air or not. No, go back on the air right now. Well, we can't do that. Can't Why? Do that. Well, we can't move mountains.